Shalom, shalom, first and foremost, we'll give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well, and peace and bless to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen, brother, preach cow, coming with a short lesson, uh, just just going through scriptures, man, prophesying the best, best of our ability, because we are in the end times, and the, the uh, the devil, the Bible speaks of so-called white man, his end is near. And as you see, you have see a picture of the UN, United Nations building, which is in, uh, I think, New York. Uh, they have, these are Edomites who are basically making making all the rules for the world because it says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. But um, through the scriptures, man, through prophecy, that end is near. So we, we go out, we prophesy Basically, when we when we open up, we say, hey, we prophesy against the downfall of this wicked kingdom, man. So Isaiah 13, I'll go right into it, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. And, and when Babylon prophesied in the Assyrian Empire, he was prophesied of the Babylonian Empire coming. But this Babylon, meaning confusion, Babal, now today is America. It says, verse 2, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. The banner that we're lifting up are the scriptures in the word, right? It says the mountains is the governments because we're down in Agoras. Uh, we're in Agoras in all these cities, the major cities, you know, the highways and the byways. We prophesied, you know, exalting the voice into them. We're, we're exalting the voice. We're going to exalt our Rome to raise up, right? To lift up and we're raising our voice because it said lift up that voice like a trumpet right and we're showing our people their transgressions but also condemning showing the condemnation of you wicked nations man it says shake the hand that they may go so when you shake your hand at somebody you're basically um giving them warning and that's what we're doing into the gates of the nobles man that's why we go into the to the agoras man these these uh we go into these cities, right? It says, I have commanded my sanctified one, which the Lord had commanded us. He blew that breath into the uh, the men that were dry bones. And we stood up, the sanctified ones are the holy ones, which are the, the elect. And I have commanded my mighty ones, which are the angels, for mine anger, for the Lord's anger, because our anger is not nowhere near the anger of the Lord. His ways are not our ways. Even them that rejoice in my highness. He says the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of kingdoms of the nations gathered together, right? Because they're getting ready to gather together. They gather together to make these uh, sanctions and make these rules when they gather together in the UN. But they, they don't know that the Lord is leading them to a, a war, war three, which is in the mountain of troops, right? Harm of God one. It said, gather together the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies mustered the host, the host of the battle. So he say muster it. Pequad to attend, to number, to reckon, to visit, to punish, to look to look after, to care. So he's the Lord of hosts, he's basically gonna visit the armies of the battle, the battle, the war. So the Lord is going to visit them. His armies, which are the angels, are going to visit them when they go to World War III. They come from a far country, from the end of the heaven, even the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. What are the weapons of his indignation? The weapons of the Lord's indignation is this right here. The weapons of his indignation. Uh, it says, and the fourth angels were loose, with which prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year to slay the third part of men, which is Edomites. Right? It says, and the number of the armies of the horsemen were 200,000, thousand, and I heard the number of them. Which 200,000, thousand, these are nuclear missiles, man. Right? These are nuclear missiles. 
This is this is what's going to destroy Esau, man. This nuclear, these nuclear missiles, man. Which the Lord had Esau to create. He had him to create. It says, Behold, Isaiah 54, 16, Behold, I have created the spiff that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. I have created the waster to destroy. So he he had created the smith, man, which is ancient blacksmiths with fine tuned metal and put metal in heat. So these modern day blacksmiths are the scientists that the men of Timon who have put their minds and the oh Lord have put the spirit on them to put their minds together to come up to put plutonium and uranium together to make a fusion bomb basically. And they, that, 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 uh, they have encased it around certain metals that can withstand a high rates of speed and altitudes of, of heat that they may travel to a, a destination, a point from one end of the earth to the other, which is spoken of in uh, second Ezra 13 chapter. You know, and the Lord said this, this was created for his work and have created the waste to destroy. So this is how the Lord is going to destroy the, the, the power system of Esau, man. United Nations, basically NATO, EU, everything is going to be brought down. And he's going to use these other nations, Russia, he's going to use China, India, and so forth, Korea. He's going to use all those nations to destroy, you know, uh, Revelation 17 and uh, 14. These shall make war with the Lamb. Let me see. It says, Oh, that might, it might be one up. Let me see here. Yeah, and these shall make war. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is the Lord of the Lords and the King of Kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful, the angels and the men of the Lord. Right? They're gonna make war with the Lamb. And he says, And he said unto me, The waters which thou sawest which the whore said the whore is in America, are people, multitudes, nations, and tongues. And, and the ten horns, right, the European Union, which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and make war with her and make her desolate and naked and shall eat, the, eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And that fire is thermonuclear structure. It says they're going to hate the whore. So these nations are going to turn on America, man. You know, even though America is part of that uh, NATO thing, but it's something that the Lord is going to have happen where these nations are going to turn on America. Russia already has no interest in China and, and Iran, you know, North Korea, but they're going to get the rest of them. They basically going to all turn on America in those, those uh, 200,000, uh, thousand, which are horsemen, which is the power, which are the nuclear missiles created by the wasters, by the uh, Smiths, the men of teaming are going to destroy America, man. You know, so with that, all praises, honor, and glory be to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakodash, the double honor to the apostles and the elders of GMS who knew well, and peace and blessings to the whole for elect. This GMS stop and listen. Brother Preacher Cal, hope it was edifying. Till the next time, I say Shalom.